Hey guys, tonight I want to show you two ways to download the files from the Roadcaster Pro onto your computer and why one of them has a big advantage over the other. The first one we're going to do is just taking the micro SD out of the Roadcaster Pro, plugging it into the computer and dragging and dropping. I'm going to set a timer here or set a stopwatch here to show you how much quicker one of these methods is than the other. I'm going to hit start. I'm going to drag podcast number three onto my desktop and boom, it is done. In five seconds, it, it moves a 37 second podcast from the Rodecaster Pro to the desktop of this computer. Now, the other way you can do that is connecting the Rodecaster Pro to the computer via USB and putting the Rodecaster Pro into podcast transfer mode. Give me a second to load this in. Let's reset the timer. And if you're on the Rodecaster Pro, you hit settings, hardware, micro SD, podcast transfer mode and it asks you would you like to enter podcast transfer mode you click yes so right off the bat getting into this mode is a little trickier than just plugging in the micro sd or the sd card into your computer but it's still nice to have flexibility and you open the app and i want to transfer podcast three which is a 37 second audio clip to my desktop. I'm going to start the timer here and hit save. I might speed up this process. Stop. All right. The process is complete. It successfully transferred the podcast over to my computer using the podcast transfer mode. But in order to move the clip over, it took a minute and 28 seconds to move a 37 second clip onto the computer. Let me know in the comments below if you guys have the same experience. Um, it is nice to have flexibility if you want to just transfer it via the podcast transfer mode. And I'm running the Rodecaster Pro on 2.0.4 version of the software. I know there's a beta out right now. Maybe they're addressing this uh, time difference. But even if they don't fix it, I guess it doesn't really bug me. Because I, I prefer to pop out the micro SD, put it into the computer, and just drag and drop. It seems like a much easier process to me but it is nice to have flexibility. So let me know in the comments uh, what you guys think and uh, please like and subscribe. Thank you for checking out this video.